Hello everybody, this is Winston here, aka Sir Winston Williams, Mr. That Feel. And today I dropped all my music on platforms. This is the anniversary of my very first album, 11 Days. Now, right now, I want to kind of tell the story about 11 Days. Just a little quick, you know, a little quick story about 11 Days. Now, 11 Days is my first album. It took me three years to actually make that album. Uh, I actually was doing a lot of open mics. I was doing a lot of cafes. Uh, I used to jump on people's hooks. You know, I used to do everything to just, like, make music. Um, You know, I used to go to uh, Crass. Uh, the student school and just record music there. I used to hang out at, you know, little open mics. I used to hang out everywhere. So one of these guys, um, you know, I met that was a rapper. Uh, we actually kind of went to his uh, recording engineer's house, and which was Paul Gillespie. Shout out to Paul Gillespie. Me and Paul Gillespie actually like hit it off, you know. He loved R&B, jazz, soul, and he was like, man, I want to work with you. And I thought that that changed my life, actually, because, you know, I was looking for someone to help me create a sound, and he helped me create a sound. You know, he knew that I was influenced by guitar, jazz, soul, all this music. So 11 Days was that embodied in all that. So it was even pop, R&B. It was everything, you know. So I was enjoying everything with music and R&B. Now, you know, uh, we did... Three years, we just kind of recorded music. We did it for like, you know, six months here, two months here, three months here. You know how life is. Uh, And then after we uh, did all this music, my friend, he told me, which Tony, Tony, you're out there, man. Uh, He would say, hey, man, you need to get all this music out. You got all this music. You should just get it out. So he introduced me to Derek Hopkins. Derek Hopkins actually... um, he actually taught me a lot. He taught me how to package the music. Uh, when we first had the prototype, we had the 11 days with the calendar, with the 11, you know, circled around, you know. He, he, he taught me how to scope it. We, then we say, okay, let's get better. Let's take pictures. Let's do a booklet with it. Let's do something with the CD. We had the CD with the spray painted jewels. Uh, he actually did the spray painting, RIP to jewels. Um, and, you know, it was just kind of like one of those things that we did was, you know, we actually just kind of did music. We, you know, we actually kind of like, you know, worked our ideas. We did a, a album release party in um, Old Town. At the time, it was Cream Lounge. Um, shout out to uh, Jim Ray. I love Jim Ray, you know, for that. Um, so, you know, it was something that I did, you know, it was something that I accomplished. It was my very first album. And, you know, I'm proud of it. And it's on platforms right now. I'm going to be telling the story about my music, you know, throughout the week. And just, you know, let me know in the comment section what you think about the music, what you think about this album, 11 Days. You know, the next album that I'm going to be kind of telling the story is Revive the Love. This one's a good one, too. Um, All right, everybody, this is Sir Winston here, a.k.a. Mr. That Feel. And, you know, I'm looking forward to you guys checking me out. And checking out more of my concerts, you know. So until then, peace.